In this segment, uh, we're going to look at um, the individual instrument patterns uh, within BFT2. One of the things you can do is you can select your kit size. For example, here's a 10-piece. I can click here. There's an 18-piece or a 32-piece. Uh, just remember that the more pieces you have, the more memory that it takes. But if we take a basic kit, one must remember that each of these slots has a very specific application. Um, yes, you could put a um, a tom tom in the hi hat, but let me show you something. If we click here to select, and I'm going to select this type of hi hat, notice that in this case there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten articulations, which means there's basically ten different sounds associated with this one instrument: the closed sound, uh, the half open, the open, the pedal sound. Uh, the quarter, the three, I mean these are all, and we can addition each of these individual sounds. So whereas uh, a tom-tom might only have one articulation, uh, a hi-hat may have seven, or if we look at a snare, there's three on this one, three there, two on that particular one. So each different slot has a particular um, application within the, the context of a particular type of instrument within the percussion kit. If we look at basses, um, there's basically only one articulation. So you can swap out slots for a one-to-one -one ratio of articulations. Um, when you get into percussion instruments, let's just look at what we might do here. Cowbells only have one, congas only have one, Bongos have two, so basically you have a hit. I'm hoping you can hear that. So it's important to realize these things called articulations, and that if we do have an instrument, uh, let me just pull in my hi hat here. Over on this side, uh, basically we can look at the different articulations and how they're uh, configured. And one must also remember that you can select a different kind of sound for each one. For example, this particular I had has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different ways that it was recorded as well. And this is the real value of of BFD and and an acoustic drum workstation versus you know a drum machine. Is that we're working with a real set of drums. We're working with um, you know, multiple different microphones set at different locations, and not to confuse the situation here, but if I look at uh, here, you know, once we get more into this, you can see that, see how I can move those ambient microphones around. So not only have I recorded the drum kit in a particular way, but I can move those microphones around on the different articulations. It's just, it's an awesome thing.